everyone, it's Lisa, and today we're gonna to do something that I've never done before. We are gonna cook a flatbread, kind of like a pizza, a margarita flatbread. And what has inspired me to do this is because when I went to go see Tammy in Florida, we went out to eat, I think it was like, it was, it was the five o'clock thing at her, like the clubhouse where she lives. And we ordered a couple of appetizers and Tammy ordered the margarita flatbread. And I've had like a margarita pizza where it has like the sauce and everything. I think I'd had one of those with uh, Sheila. But this was very different and it tasted, I just loved it. It tasted so good and it just stuck with me. And a couple of times we've gone out to eat and nobody around here has anything like it. And so I was talking to Tammy about it and she said, well, just make it, it's easy. So that's what we're gonna do today, is we are gonna make, I'm gonna to try to recreate that margarita flatbread. And um, so I have gone and gotten all the stuff to make it, and I went ahead and went to, Brooke went with me today, we went to Williams Sonoma. And that's one of my favorite stores. Um, my mom loves to get stuff in there. I love to get stuff like gifts in there. And I have needed some new cookware anyway, which I was telling my mom, I said, I can't do a video with my old beat up cookware. She says, well, that shows that you use it. <laughs> I said, yeah, it does. But I needed a few new things anyway. So I went in there with Brooke and I had the nicest lady help me. And so I bought some things to do this with tonight. And um, so I thought I would show you what I bought first and then we'll get started on the pizza, or not the pizza, but the flatbread. Okay, the first thing I bought is I needed a new cooking, like just a tray, and um, I had read different ways to do this, and some recipes call for you to cook the flatbread first. Well, when I was talking to Tammy about it, and she says, no, what I do is I just put it on, she said, like a baking rack on my pan, as long as the air is circulating around that, it should get crispy enough. So I bought this little duo, and I think it's so pretty too. And um, the two piece set, nonstick, half sheet, and rack. So that's what we're gonna cook this on. Okay, then I wanted a new knife. I am still using the same knives that we got for our wedding. And then here and there, I have bought just at like TJ Maxx or I bought some at TJ Maxx and then one year for Christmas, I asked for my mom to get me some like paring knives, just knives to cut up apples and stuff like that. So I did not really have a good knife to cut like the tomato because you need to slice the tomato really thin. And so the lady was so nice. She let me, told me which knives were the best and let me hold them in my hand to see which one felt the best. And this is the one that I chose and it's global and it's a stainless steel knife, like a serrated edge. And so here it is. And it's right now it's 550. So you are getting this in my real time. I'm really actually gonna cook dinner with you guys tonight. And um, so let's take this out without harming myself. Okay, yeah, I might have to get John to help me with that, but that is the knife. It felt so good in my hands, and I just liked it. I liked the look of it, and she said it was a really good one. Okay, then you're going to hear, hear Bridget whining because John is outside um, doing some things in the garage that he needs to do when he gets home from work, and she is whining because she wants him to come in. So, anyway. Okay, then I looked. I needed a good cutting board because I... What I usually do is get out a little one that I have and um, <laughs> it would be embarrassing to show you. It is. It looks like it has just been drugged behind a car across country or something, it's beat up. So I wanted to get a new cutting board and so I got this one which is the Maple Prep Cutting Board. And what I thought was so nice, oh, you can see my light in there. I don't have good light because it's not daylight so I had to get my light out. But um, what was so nice of her too, it just really makes a shopping experience so much better when someone spends their time with you. And I guess most of the ladies in there are pretty passionate, but she took the time to show me all the different ones and to say this is a good size to lay your flatbread out and you know, just different things. So anyway, that's the cutting board that I got. 
And then when she was talking to me about washing it, how you can't submerge it, which I knew that, she was explaining how, you know, you cut your vegetables and stuff first, and then you would cut your meat. And if you're not cutting meat, she said that what you could do is just take, um, when you wash it, just take one of these towels, the bar mop dishcloths, which I needed some new kind of like, not fancy dishcloths, but some ones that wipe the counter and stuff, you know what I mean? And um, so I bought these and they were $9.95 for four of them, not very expensive. And um, she said just to wipe it off with this and then I could put the pizza right back on it. So um, that's, I bought these. And then when I was over there, I saw these kitchen towels. And you guys know I have a thing for kitchen towels, which I have some really pretty ones that I love, but I just wanted to sprinkle in maybe some white ones so that I would have some extra ones. I have some of the flower sack. I love those. My mom uses those. So it's kind of, you know, something that I just, it, I don't know, it's just like a comfort thing or a homey thing to me, but I thought I would try these. And one of the things that makes this so yummy, and I think the thing that just, without this, I don't think it would be the same, is the balsamic glaze. Um, so like balsamic reduction. And I bought the one from Williams and Sonoma. I had another one, but she was just going on and on about how good this one is, so I decided to try it. And then last but not least, I got, she asked me, did I want an apron? And at first I was thinking no, but then I was thinking this will probably be good, you know, when I am doing my videos. That way I won't have to worry about um, whatever I have on. <laughs> if you hear Bridget snorting, it's because she's drinking water. She does that. And um, I just liked this. I liked how plain it was, and I've always been kind of a sucker for aprons. I used to make these when I used to sew, and I would make them whenever I made um kitchen window treatments for someone I would usually make them an apron and then I would make them like this that I made this too the little night light I think my lights burn out in there so um that way I'm, I was trying to think of things that would promote me to make more cooking videos and I thought well if I don't have to worry about how I look in it and everything else um then I might do more because I want to do things like my chicken salad. Um, the holidays are coming up, you know, maybe cook with you different things that I cook every year for my family. And um, so I'm gonna get all this out and get all the ingredients out and we'll get okay. started. So what I've got here is I've got the olive oil and um, you will just lightly brush this on the flatbread to give it just a little bit of crisp, but you don't wanna put too much. Okay, the flatbread, a lot of people make their own flatbread. I was not gonna go all that, all that way out. <laughs> so I bought, the first one I bought was this, because I thought I was just gonna be making a little one for myself and Brooke. And then John told me that he would like some, and then my mom said that she wanted to taste it. So I bought this original, then I bought John the whole grain, and then I have these little ones, the little mini ones. And, um, this is supposed to be a good brand. So I have these. Okay, what you wanna do is you want to use fresh, the soft, fresh mozzarella. You can use, I have seen it online, you can use the shredded or slices if you'd like, but this to me is what made it, the creaminess of this. And a tip that Tammy told me is you put this in the, or in the freezer a few minutes before you cut it and that makes it slice easier. So I'm gonna go put this in the freezer now. Okay, then of course you will need some tomatoes. Um, I got the Roma tomatoes. I think these are the best ones and um, these are the ones my mom uses all the time. She uses these and then she uses those little ones that are kind of still on the vine. I'm not sure what they're called, but I got these to make it with. And then the first thing I bought was this basil at one grocery store and um, it's already kind of cut up like that. But then um, after talking to a few people and reading some recipes, they said that this was the best thing to do. So that is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. Matter of fact, the lady at Williams Sonoma said that she likes to lay hers all out, but I think I'm gonna cut it up and um, kind of put that on at the end so it isn't like wilted and everything. So, and then of course this is the balsamic to when you take it out of the oven you will just drizzle it over and cut it and serve it. Let's see, let's go ahead and take these out of the package. This is 
the first time I've ever even bought flatbread. Oh gosh. Oh, these smell so good. And I know that these have carbs, but this is still in, you know, in the whole spectrum of things, this is still a low carb meal. So we have these. Okay. I don't know if I want to do them all at the same time. Do I? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm going to get out these whole wheat ones for John. Okay, so we're going to put, I'm going to put just a little bit on here. I would do this with a brush, but I do not have one anymore. I think mine got destroyed from barbecuing. Okay, so I'm just going to spread this. My hands are clean. Just washed them. Spread that on there. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to share that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is cut our tomatoes in very, very thin slices. Ooh, I love a new knife. Okay. And my mom did teach me all that stuff, like holding your fingers back and all that stuff, but I'm not going to get that close. Okay, now we're going to take out some basil and look at this. <laughs> okay, and we're going to pull some leaves off. Oh, it smells so good. And let's see. It's organic. Okay, rinse before use. I figured it would be. So we're going to rinse this off real quick before we use it. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I've got taken off some and then rinse that off. And let's see. Okay, so let's start building. I don't know if I cut these thin enough. I hope I have. Okay, yeah. Okay. 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 I'm going to open this to slice it. It's been in the freezer. And of course, if you would like to use a sauce instead of the tomatoes, you can do that. But I'm trying to make it exactly like the one that I had because it was just so good. And um, so you guys are here as I learn. Okay. We are going to over here okay and I'm not sure let's see how we want to do this I think I'm going to just slice it like that oh that looks great And they did have um, some that was already sliced, but I don't know. I would always feel like it's better when it's it's fresher when it hasn't been cut. Okay, my oven's ready. Let's, let's cut this a little bit thinner. And this is not the knife to probably be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be crazy. This was hard to cut. <laughs> so I'm going to just do that with that. Okay. And Tammy said that I could put a little bit on this while it was cooking and then add a little bit more when I'm through. So I'm going to cut these. Let me just... 
and just put a little bit on there just so it'll put a little bit of taste while it's cooking. Okay, and then you can put some salt and pepper on it, but I am going to wait until afterwards. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 350. Slide that right in there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in there for 10 minutes and then check it, and it'll probably be about 15 minutes. Um, if my, yeah, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. It's been in there for 15 minutes. Let's take it out and see. Oh, it looks yummy. Okay. Hmm. I am going to put it in there for just one more minute and see if it'll crisp up just a little bit more. So let's take it out now. And transfer it on to the board. The cheese looks melted. Everything looks cooked. Okay, now we are going to sprinkle some more of the fresh basil. I don't want to put too much. This is kind of, this is already like way out there for my family. And we are going to, and I'm so scared about this. Let me see how fast this comes out. Okay, it's pretty thick. Okay, good. We're just going to drizzle that on there like that I'm gonna do one more strike this is mine okay yay <laughs> then we are going to let's do it So here you go. It's gonna be yummy. So it's been in there for 18 minutes. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. Transfer these over. Okay, now we're gonna sprinkle some more of the feels much crispier than last time. Okay. Okay, now I know how this comes out. I really like, I feel like this needs to be on all of it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna cut it. Traditionally, I think it would be like a longer piece, but this is the only flatbread that I can find. So I am going to just, I don't know, cut it like I had it probably. Yep, I felt the edges crunch a little bit this time. Let's see. Put it at an angle. This is John's. I think the regular gets a little bit crispier than the whole wheat. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.